Hello for the fourth time, YouTube, and this will be my fourth video. I'll be reviewing this game called Plants vs. Zombies. It pretty much takes up a whole video on its own. It's that amazing. If you played this game on the computer, they brought back the, the amazingness on the iPod Touch. Yes, the amazingness. But what it is, is um, your the world is being taken over by zombies, and you have to defend your house. You use plants to do that. I found it a little odd at the beginning, but I really got addicted. It's like a po it's pretty much a tower defense game. I'll resume the game I have going now. You make fl sunflowers to get sun, and you need sun to build other plants. I'll show you what a pea shooter does in a minute. A pea shooter is the very basic defense, and then there's like the potato mine, and then the whatever else you want to say. I forgot uh, the walnut wall. Like, here's, there's a zombie. I'm gonna kill it. With a pea shooter. Very, very addicting once you get very far into this game. It's just, it has a great, long, like, 50 levels, I believe, 51 or so. And it's got a great replay value. Even more challenging when you play it through the second time. It's just, I, they, they really did... I couldn't believe they transferred this from the computer to the game. It was... Right when I saw it come out, I bought it. I loved it so much. And I've liked it ever since. But... You know, once you beat it a few times, it does get a little boring. There is challenges, too. And mini games and a shop and everything where you can buy more plants. There's like 60 different kinds of plants. And it's only been two minutes. Wow, that's... I've said a lot about it already, and it's only been two minutes. That's kind of... It surprises me. Well, like, there's lawnmowers down here. You can... They fly past and kill the zombies when they get... When the zombies get to them. And then there's, like, the roof level, which you can't use pea shooters. You have to use watermelon launchers. And then there's... The pool level. That's six rows instead of five. And then there's night levels. It's, it gets really hard. But if you know the strategy, which is pretty much like this, sunflowers in the first row during the day, and then in the first two rows during the night, and then, oh, there's a different kind of zombie there. I'll have to kill him pretty fast. But as you can see, there's sun falling from the sky. That's only during the day. At night, the sun doesn't fall from the sky. And he's not going to die. All right, there you go. He's dead. I'll just finish up this level, and then I'll give you the rating and show you everything else. There's little challenges too, I mean, you get points for beating the challenges and stuff, and I I really like it, so they add a lot to it for being... I think there's a Zen Garden, I haven't unlocked it yet in this game though, in the iPod version. The Zen Garden, what it does is it just adds a bunch of money, I think. I don't know. I haven't actually ever gotten that far in this game. I've only done that in the other game. I beat the one for the computer three times, I believe. It, it just got so addicting. It was sad. Then you can put these down. They'll block the zombies. They, they, they take way longer to, the, for the zombies to eat than the pea shooters do. So I just... This is a very long game. It should last you at least a day or so to beat it the first time. To 100% it, it takes you a long time. I'll tell you that right now. Huge horde of zombies, that means it's at the end. And then the shovel, I'm not even going to explain it. I'll, I'll do a better review on this and gameplay and all that in a different video, probably. One that's actually 10 minutes, and then I'll show you through all the videos. Maybe I'll do a huge walkthrough. That'd be fun. Whoops, I messed up. Oh well. See? And there's a new card you can get. That one's the Ice Pea Shooter. It freezes zombies when it hits. But yeah, this game... I'd have to say... 9.5 out of 10. Possibly... 9.9 .9 if you want to say that. But this game... It's not a 10, but it's extremely close to a 10. And you can just go to the main menu. So, see, there's achievements. 
you can get. Like this one, Melanie Lane. Plant a winter melon on every lane. Or second life. Cre complete adventure mode a second time. But there's those, and then there's options. You can have separate files and stuff. 9.9 out of 10, guys. No, I guess I have five minutes left, so I'll see if how many more I can fit into this video. This next one is Tetris. The good old-fashioned, everybody loves this game, Tetris. Not everybody. I mean, not everybody, if you couldn't hear me before. But I truly... I love this game. I've played Tetris Party online. I like the soundtrack, too. You can do marathon magic. There's so many different things you can do on this version of Tetris. I'll just show you a quick marathon mode. See, all it is, it's regular Tetris. You just tap to twist, and then you can slide it around. I'm doing really bad this round. And then you can slide to make it go faster. I'm probably going to lose here pretty soon. But yeah, this is just regular Tetris. Just extremely better. <laughs> better. Eh, right. There. I just blasted some away. There, fixed it. Now all I have to do is finish getting rid of all these other blocks. I could have held that block, I just realized that. The reason I've had the music turned down for most of these games is because I know you probably can't hear me very well when the music is on, so I turn it down. <laughs> oh, I'm on level 3. The background color changed and I didn't even notice. But it just goes on its own and when you reach the next level, the color changes. Just great version of Tetris. Can't stop playing it sometimes. But I'm going to right now. So that's Tetris. There's just a couple extra modes in that. I'm not going to go through it right now because I'm seeing if I can get as many, see how many games I can get into this one. Like I said, though, Plants vs. Zombies and Open Find 2, those are two of my top 10 games. I'll make it top 10 games eventually. This one's another puzzle game. Really simple. Just have to get the blocks into the spaces that they fit into. I'll just do a couple levels for you because we have to go. I have to. Stop the video here pretty soon. You see, it's just like that. You just have to fit the video, the block into the spot. Very, very simple. There's a level builder, and it's free. I, yeah, I believe it's free. And then there's new levels for free, I believe. I'll start on level 20. See? All you do is you move a block here, then you move another block. That's not gonna work. So I have to move it like this. That's not gonna work either. Yes, it is. And there you go. Level completed. And then you just do it again on the next level. Very relaxing puzzle game. I'd, I'd like to think of it as Tetris, but not really. Um, it looks like that's all the time we have. I rate this game. I know I didn't get much of a review on it, but I didn't have much to say about it. I'll rate that that game. It's called Fit It! Exclamation point. I'll rate it about a 9 out of 10. No, not a 9 out of 10. 7 out of 10, maybe? Yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Do whatever. See you, YouTube.